hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use date time picker with your visual C++ windows form application so the date time picker usually look like this so you should be able to pick the date and the, the time you can also choose specific date or specific year also and also you can also choose the time but I am using right now the custom date time so I am just showing the date in a certain format also so if you are following these videos you have seen how I am inserting or saving my data into my my sql database so this is the new addition to it so for example till now i have been adding employee id name last name age and his gender to the database and this time i want to add the date of birth of the employee also so I will show you two things in this video first of all how to use this date time picker and how to save your date of birth of employee into the database so now let's see how we can do this so if you go into the toolbar a date time picker by default looks like this it's a big format so it shows the current day of week then the date month and the year so you can save this like that also and if you are using this date time picker for other applications you can give this format also but there are some properties you can change in your date time picker so for example when you select this date time picker and go to the properties of this you can see you can set the default value from here you can set the maximum date and minimum date from here also and the most important thing is you can give a custom format to your date so for example I want to show a date in the format dd dash mm dash y y y y so first two dd stands for date small d then dash then capital double m stand for month and these four are for years so now when you enter this custom format and go below and just go to the format and you have to check or select custom format then only your format in your date time picker will change and you can see it comes in the form of day month and year now the problem with my sql is it saves the date in a certain format which is year then month and then the date so we need to change our format in that form so 
I will change the format once again year then month and then the day so my if you are using my SQL specifically you need to choose this format year month and date so now this is what I have done in this date time picker okay so I'm going to delete this because I don't need it and now it looks like this now what you need to do in order to save this date time picker into the database so first of all what I have done is I have made a date of birth column which is a new column into the database for saving the date okay and you see it's saving the date in this format because I have tried earlier to save some data so if you don't have this column then just make the date of birth of whatever date you want to insert into the database and I just want to show you one more thing that the data type of this date of birth is date I have selected now go to save button and the code for the save button I have shown you in the video number 9 I think so if you don't know this save button event code then you can just go to that video and see it so I will ju just double click it and this is the code we have written in video number 9 so till now I have been inserting so this is the query insert into the database dot e data which is the table name this is the database name and then in the bracket the name of the columns so till now I have been adding employee ID name surname age gender and this is the new addition I have done the DOB column or the date of birth column so just add a comma and the date of birth in the query and then values we have inserted all the values of employee ID and name surname and age and in the last field give a comma and just write this line which is single colon inside double colon and then plus and inside that plus plus sign write this arrow pointer date time picker one which is the name of this date time picker which is this here this is date time picker the name of my date time picker and then arrow pointer text so add this into your query after this comma so we have added this column and we have added the column value and rest of the code will remain the same now let's try and run the program so right now I have if you see I have 13 entry till now I'm refreshing the data so I don't have much 13 entries so I will add the 14th entry into the database so 
employee ID 14 name whatever you want so age and now you can select the date so you can select the month uh, and you can select the year also so 1971 now the month may and the day so 6th may 19 71 and he is a male and when I press this save button my data is saved so 14 boss king 21 and 6th May 1971 is my data and data is saved now when I go to my database and check it first of all I need to refresh my database from here and you can see the 14th employee is added and the date of birth is also added and my SQL has taken the date according to its format year month and then day and it also passed the dash here while we are using slashes here so you can also use dash in between also so mysql is intelligent enough to recognize that but you need to give the date in this format only so in this way you can use date time picker with your visual c++ windows form application i hope you have enjoyed this video and Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.